Hey everyone, so in this video what I'll be doing is showing you how to update to iOS 14. Now before we go any further, I have to add in that please do not run this on your daily driver. So do not install this on your main phone. Uh, most betas, especially first releases, will be really, really buggy and most of your apps probably will not work with them. Um, so obviously with that said, what I'll do is get into it. So what you want to do is head over to Safari and you will want to come to this particular website. So it's betaprofiles.com. Once you're here, what you want to do is just scroll down a little and choose whichever device you want to actually use it on. So obviously you've got the choice here. In this scenario, obviously it's an iPhone. So you want to click on iOS. It will bring you slightly further down. And then there's two methods. The method I'm showing you will be the on phone method. What you can also do is download the IPSW uh, file and do it through a, a PC or a Mac. With this method, what you do is you hit download and what it'll do is it'll bring up this, this particular window. What you want to do is click on allow and then it's going to install the profile. So you hit close. What you then do is head back down to your settings and just there you should have profile downloaded. Now, once you hit install, enter your code. It will bring up this message and then what you do is you hit install again now obviously i'm already on ios 14 so basically i don't want to well actually let's just see what happens so you hit install it will ask you again so you hit install again and what it'll do is it'll install the profile for you obviously i'm already on ios 14 so it's kind of uh kind of pointless but basically what it does is it does that what you then do is you come back out of that screen and you come into software update. Once you click into software update, what you'll see is obviously you'll be on 13 point whatever or, or earlier. It'll actually bring up an update, a software update. What you do is you click that and you'll follow the normal over the air method for installing software updates. Now, a couple of things. It will take a very long time initially downloading the file. And then also, depending on your device, it can also take quite a long time for it to actually install on your device itself. For me, it probably took about half an hour on this particular device. This is an iPhone 6S Plus. So obviously this is the oldest possible device that you could install it on as well as the iPhone SE. And because of that, I don't know whether it's just the fact that the phone is so slow or possibly it could have been my battery percentage as well. Another thing, just to be aware, I would recommend keeping it plugged in, but before you start, also have above 50% battery life. What I actually found with this particular device was I had around 53% battery life, and then as soon as it began to actually start installing, the battery percentage actually dropped all the way down to 19. So it's obviously using a lot of battery power in order to do this. So before you start, charge it up to at least 50%, and throughout the update process, just keep it plugged in. This will stop it from dying whilst updating and possibly bricking the device. Um, I will have more videos coming, so obviously subscribe to the channel, for all of those and basically if you don't want to actually risk this on your own device what i'll be doing is i'll be pointing out all the the little changes and also any of the the key kind of uh ui elements that essentially are introduced but possibly not quite working yet so obviously hit the subscribe button for those and until the next one thanks very much for watching